smells like an ashtray in here. Well, remember that next time you feel like torching the place. That wasn't me this time. Well, it's good to hear. At least they let us back in since it didn't get to this side. Mm. Calling Lizzie again? How dare she not return my calls? That sounds like Lizzie's phone. Why would her phone be in the room? Unless... Oh. Hey, Lizzie. Lizzie, Tammy, open those doors up. Lizzie. Lizzie! Hey. Okay. What's going on? Oh, good. Are you okay? Yeah. Is it morning already? I had the worst dream last night. My granddad was in one of those prison loony bin places and he was trying to take the baby and then the sirens were going off. Well, was yeah. Out. The sirens were going off. There was a huge fire here last night. Half the hotel burned down. And I, I slept through it? <sighs> Apparently. You and the baby were in this room and if the fire... Hey, hey, I'm okay. It's okay, you're so worried about me. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey! I got beet juice, wheat berry juice, carrot juice, peach, and mango. It's just the thing to bring up your immune system. Oh, good. I can take it with me. Well, I thought you were going to lay low here until uh, Dr. McPersonality called up and gave you a, an update. Yeah, uh, well, I changed my mind. Uh, oh, so, oh, you're going to go see Josh? You're going to tell him where you were and what you're doing? Now you're back. No, Maybe. not exactly. Breathe, huh? Billy, I can't stay cooped up in this room. It's like a tomb. I mean, how long have I known Josh? I know everything that goes on with him. I mean, you saw him last night, how happy he was. Not that that's a, a bad thing, but I just need to know why. So you're going to go see him? <sighs> Not exactly. I'm going to go <sighs> observe him. You're going to spy on him. You can call it whatever you want. Well, talk now. I, 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 I. Reva. Reva. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Bandage changed. And while we're here, I think you should get looked at no. too. You've been <clears throat> coughing and you inhaled a lot of smoke, and that's not good. Ava, I'm fine. Please, I'm fine. okay? Have the doctor look at you, Coop. He will. I pay his insurance premiums. You're gonna go see the doctor. Great. Another nag. Any word on Malik? Yeah, he's in there, still unconscious. Dunn is in with him. Well, look, I'll be back. I'm gonna call Olivia, see how she's doing. Olivia. Oh, I'm sure she's doing just fine, looking out for number one, as always. Oh, boy. Would you guys have another falling out? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to like someone when they just nearly killed you. What are you, what are you talking about? Olivia, she left me to die in the fire. Wake up, sweetie. Please wake up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jeffrey. He hasn't woken up yet. I'm hoping that the smoke didn't damage his lungs at all. Yeah. It's too bad you didn't think of that when it would have mattered. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. Well, Mal, it's here because you put him here, Dinah. You started that fire at the beginning.
Still reeks of smoke in here. You, get out of here. Go someplace else. What, are you kicking me out? Well, until the air circulates or whatever, you know, you're breathing for two. You want our baby to turn into a little wheeze box? <laughs> she is not going to be a wheeze box. Hey, maybe he's right, though. You know, just to be safe. Just go someplace that Alan can't find you, okay? I hate to say this, but did anybody else think about the fact that maybe Alan started this fire? I mean, he wants you out of here, away from us. I, I mean, I thought of it for sure, but Granddad is still locked up at the airport. Yeah, good, good. Well, then it's cool for you to go out for a while. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Thank you. Uh, are you guys coming? Uh, no. I'm gonna stay here and talk to, um, talk to somebody about getting a fan up here, but we'll meet up with you later. You guys? Thanks for being so worried about me. It's nice. So do you really think the little teeny bit of smoke that filtered in here is gonna hurt the baby's lungs? Hell no. I just wanted some alone time with you. Mm, you're bad. And you're hot. Hotter than any fire. Ooh. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Why would I have anything to do with setting a fire? I went to your room, Dinah. I saw where the fire started. What are you, Smokey the Bear? You know how many arson cases I've prosecuted? This one isn't hard to figure out. Okay. Okay, let's say that technically I lit something that would have caused a fire, mm. but it was an accident. An accident. You were furious at Mallet for publicly humiliating you. But... Then you made a scene at company, and then I found you at the pond, which must have been right about when the fire started. Because hmm. you were upset, mumbling something about wanting to cool down, wash away your sins. I didn't know. You didn't know? Okay, I was in our room. I was looking to release, to vent some of the hurt and anger that I was feeling. So I gathered our wedding stuff, and I got our invitations together in some of Mallet's clothes, and I lit a match to them. But it was a purging, a symbolic purging, like you're out of my life kind of thing. And when I left, I put the fire out. Apparently not as well as I should have. No, apparently not. Olivia owns the place. She was going to be my bridesmaid. Why in the world would I set fire to her hotel? Why do you do anything, Dinah? Because you can't control yourself. You can't control your anger. Now you've already killed one fiance. Maybe you're going for number two. Mallet was not back at that hotel. He was away, and the only reason why he came back was to check on me, because he was worried. And now he has to be OK. He has to be, because I would never hurt him. I would never hurt him. Okay. You believe me? Yeah. What are you doing? Well, we're going to go down to the police station so you can make a what statement. What are you talking about? You just said that you believe me. Dinah, you set a fire. You started a fire that, that hurt a lot of people. Jeffrey, and that I am caused damage. I am on probation, and you know well, that. Well, I'm not the DA anymore, but I'll try to put in a good word for you. Put in a good word for me? What are you talking about? It's the best I can do. No. No. I am not going back to prison. I told you that Livia and I were trapped in the office when the fire started, right? Yeah, the beam fell on your leg. Yeah, and I couldn't move. I was trapped, and she spent all of, like, five seconds trying to save me, and then she split. Ava, she was going to get help. She was saving herself. She left me there to fry, Coop. No, no, no come on. I can't, I can't believe that. You can't believe no. what? It's Olivia we're talking about here. She only looks out for herself. Think about what she did with Billy and Bill and, and Frank and Buzz. She even accused me of actually writing the Springfield Burns. <sighs> I wish I was writing it because I could tell everybody about what an evil wench she is. 
Hi, Olivia, it's me. I, you know, I know, know you're up probably half the night with the insurance and the fire department and everything. I just want to see how you were doing. And, uh, Emma, too. I, mean, I hope she slept well last night. Emma's fine. <laughs> and so am I, thanks to you. Honey, it's Mom. Call me. I'm, I'm worried about you. Honey, I, I, I was just... Calling you. Are you okay? I just heard about the fire. I'm fine. We're both fine. Are you sure? Jonathan and Tammy have been looking after me, and they've been taking such great care of me. I am really, really lucky to have such great friends. Really? And these great friends, are they the one that talked you into hiding a meat cleaver in your grandfather's suitcase? No. I thought of that all on my own. Excuse me. Oh, Cassie, if you're worried about Tammy, don't be. The fire at the beacon didn't oh, even touch. Oh, I know, I know. Thank you for saying that, but I talked to Tammy last night. I'm just glad that none of you were in the hotel when this happened. I actually was. I slept through the whole thing. Lizzie, that's terrible. No, I know, but I'm fine. But what if you weren't? You see, this is the reason that I want you to move back home with your grandfather and me so we can keep an eye on you. I am happy where I am. I feel safe there. Safe? Really? I, I'm sorry, you're going to have to explain to me. What do you like so much about living with Tammy and Jonathan? Actually, yeah, you know, I think I'd really like to hear that, too. Thank okay, you. you know what? If you guys are just going to gang up on no, me, I, I really... We're, we're not going to gang up on you. I promise. Okay, I know that it's weird. And I didn't think that it was going to work, either. But it does. Jonathan and Tammy really care about this baby. And me. And, and that feels good. You know how Granddad is always saying how important family is. Well, he's right. Okay, but there are all sorts of families. There are the families that we are given, and there are the families that we choose. Okay, this, this baby, this little girl, is my family now. I, and I, I'm actually starting to feel like Jonathan is too. And Tammy, of course. Thank you for the trim, Sam. I appreciate it. You really didn't need one, Josh. You could have gone a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with a guy wanting to look his best, right? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> hey, guess who? Hey, you. Um, how are you? I'm good. Great, actually. Uh, I hope I didn't call it a bad time. No, not at all. What's up? Well, not a whole lot. I'm sitting here on Main Street. Uh, obviously, they're getting ready for the Greek festival, and uh, I was just wondering if we were still on. Unless, of course, you're going to uh, chicken out on me. Oh, no. Okay, you're not going to do this to me right now. Oh, yes, I am. No, listen, I'm sorry. I spaced out. I totally forgot I have to go to... Campus and pre-register for my classes, and if I don't get there by 9 a.m., I probably won't get the ones that I want, so... Oh, damn you and your big brain. We never get to spend any time alone together anymore. It's not gonna be for long. And when I come back, we can pick up right where we left off. Yeah, if Lizzie's not back by then, you should have kicked her and her moochie pooch out for good. I don't even kid about that. You're doing the right thing by Lizzie and the baby. Well, then reward me. Come here. Hey. You know, if we weren't together when that fire broke out, I would have freaked out. I mean, I would have been out of my mind worrying about you. Same. If you're saying that to tell me that I come first with you, don't bother. I know I do. You show me every day. Oh, she says to me as she gets me all hot and bothered and then leaves. I'll make it up to you, I promise. <laughs> <sighs> I wouldn't dream of missing my opportunity to whoop you at every game at the fair. Hey, those are fighting words, lady. Of course, I mean when we're not manning the booth and trying to drum up more donations for the Veterans Hospital. As long as we still have time to have some fun tonight. I mean, maybe drink a little ouzo, maybe dance that Greek dance thing where you spin around and you fall over. Hey, you there. Right. Shh, keep your voice down. Oh, you, you're still being that hairy, huh? You done? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You okay? You feeling sick? Yeah, but not in the way you think. Well, well what way then? 
He's seeing someone, Billy. Josh! Oh, no, you're crazy. No, 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 no. no. He's, uh, he's working out. He's getting haircuts when he doesn't need them. Uh, and I swear I just heard him making a date. No, I, I think you misheard whatever you heard. Josh loves you to pieces, darling. And he's having an affair. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll discuss this later. But uh, right now, you do at the hospital for some blood work. So, you want me to take you over there? No, I can handle it on my own. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm back in town, and I need a favor. A big one. Hey, Tammy. I, I uh, wanted to talk to you. Um, about what I walked in on at the farm last night? Well, about what you think you walked in on. I know what I saw, Uncle Josh. You're not going to try to tell me you aren't interested in her, are you? Actually, you know what? Maybe it's not appropriate for me to have this conversation well, with you right if now. If you are, this is not easy for me to say because I love Aunt Reva very much. But I have been thinking about this a lot. And if you do have feelings for my mom, I'm not going to get in your way. Cassie, no, come on. What, what do you think of this strange living arrangement that our children seem to be involved in? I think... I think they're going to need more towels. Oh, come on! You can't tell me that you think this is a good idea. <laughs> you know what, Beth? I have no idea what the hell is or isn't a good idea anymore. So Tammy and Lizzie and Jonathan are adults. If this is where they are right now and it's for the sake of the baby and it works for them, then I'm going to get them those towels. See, Mom? She didn't say that she thinks it's a good idea. She just said she's going to stay out of it. I'm cool with that. Maybe you should follow her lead. I know that you and everyone else has an opinion about what I should be doing with this baby, but guess what? She is mine. My responsibility, so it's my opinion that counts. Yes, but I'm not sure that you understand what this responsibility entails. You have always told me that you would do anything to protect me. Well, that's how I feel about my little girl. And I honestly believe that it is in her and my best interest to live with Tammy and Jonathan. If that changes, I'll let you know. But for right now, I have made my decision. I've got to go. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Cassie. Bye, Lizzie. Do us all a favor, Beth. Don't make any trouble. Hey, look who's here. Get away from Whoa. me, you selfish! Come on, stop, stop, stop. Hey, stop. Look, you're still hurt, all right? Calm down. But I'm not hurt. Uh, uh, what's going on here? She left me to die! Look, Ava was trapped and she was hurt in the building, and apparently Olivia just left her there. I did no such thing! Yes, you did! Admit it! What? Is this the truth? Jeffrey, you know what I've been through. You know where I come from, and you know what prison would do to me. You know better than anybody. Now you take a look at him. I have finally found a man in my life who needs me. Who needs me. Now why would you take that away from me just because I didn't put out a fire like I thought I should have? Now come on, you've got to cut me a break. We have history. And you owe me. I owe you. <laughs> yeah. I don't owe you anything. Yeah, you do. Because we were supposed to get married. And if you arrest me over this, I'm going to lose everything. I can't just ignore what I saw. Don't yes, you can. Yes, you can. You bend the rules. You bend the rules all the time for those folks in Springfield. But just because you didn't get what you wanted, do not deny me happiness, Jeffrey. Questions, you know, for somebody who gave me the scare of my life. <coughs> oh, you're here. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, baby. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I'm here where I, where I want to be with you. Yeah. You still feel that way? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was petty and I was stupid. I was stupid, even though... Even the big guy upstairs thinks so. I mean, I think that's why he gave me this, just to scare me, to teach me a lesson about what's important in life. And that's you, baby. That's you. I love you, E.C. Hey. Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? Yes, I'm gonna forgive you if you forgive me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Neil. What are you doing here? You, uh, are you investigating the fire? Well, yeah, I, um, I haven't got all the facts yet, but uh, I'm inclined to believe that it was an accident. But don't you go worrying about that. You just get yourself better, okay? Emma, sweetie, let's go over here and look at those picture books. You like those? I did not leave Ava to die there, as she so dramatically put it. I tried to free her, but I couldn't, so I went to get help. And I needed to check on my daughter. I'm sure that's a minor concern of yours. Did you try to save me? Did you grab the first person that you saw and say there's a girl trapped up in the office and she needs your help, you better get to her now? You didn't even tell Buzz. And then, maybe I'm wrong, did she? I didn't think so. Look, I'm sorry, I was out of my mind with worry. I got trapped in that. The bottom line is you're fine, thank goodness. Yeah, because if I'd, I'm the one who dropped the beam on, beam on you, I didn't, Ava. I was afraid for my daughter's life. Yeah, so to hell with mine? Leaving someone there al I mean, come on, isn't that a crime? I'm sure it probably is. Not to mention owning a building where the water systems don't even work and the fire Okay, go enough! Leave her alone. She was worried about her daughter. She did what other, any other mother would do. Now that Emma's fine, it's easy to judge, you know. Dad, don't tell me you're going to stand there and defend her, all right? Ava was trapped in a I burning building. I know Ava. It was terrible, okay? But she's fine now. Okay. Let's go. Tammy, are, are you saying that you don't care if your mom and I... I never said that. I think you and my mom is a terrible idea. Right, you're still married to Reva. I know that. And Reva's my mom's sister. I know that too. It's crazy and it's dangerous and I can't imagine it ever ending well. I didn't say that... You didn't have to. You do have feelings for each other. It's obvious. It has been for a while. Nothing's happened between us. Nothing. Yet. Right. Mom said the same thing. But look, like I said, part of me really thinks that the two of you being together is wrong because it will hurt Aunt Reva. Maybe even tear our family apart just as it's finally getting back together. I don't want that. I know. When I saw you two, I was ready to freak, to go off on my mom. But the second I did, she called me on something. What was that? She said I sounded just like her when she tried to keep me away from Jonathan. Everyone said it was wrong for me to be with him. But you know in your heart that something's right. You can't be swayed by what other people think or worry about who's going to get hurt. You can only think about yourself and the person you love and what you know to be true. So, I guess the question is, do you really love my mom like that? Is it so strong and so important to you that it outweighs all the risks? And only you guys know that. You... You said all that to your mom. No. But I should have. Hey! Oh. <laughs> How long you been back in town? I don't even rate a phone call? Huh? How you been? Do they know if the uh, bone marrow thing took uh, yet? Or? Since yesterday. Uh, I, I know I do, and I just did. Um, I don't have the results back yet, and... I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really very good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's excellent. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be home with Joshua working things out? 
Well, <laughs> actually, that's why I, I called you to come over. Have you seen much of Josh lately? Here and there, why? And? And what? Well, um, I don't know. I'm, I just wanted to know if there was anything going on with him, anything new and interesting. <laughs> uh, Reva, I, I mean, if you're trying to point me down the road here, I have no clue what you're talking about, so just, I mean, spell it. Do you think he's seeing someone? Seeing someone seeing someone? He's married to you. Just answer the question. Whoa. Okay, l let me put it this way. I'm... I'm pretty sure he's seeing someone. The question is who? I mean, do you have any ideas? Do you know? Do you? No, 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 no. I mean, if I knew something like that, don't you think I'd tell you right away? I would certainly hope you would. And unless it's, it's someone you know, unless it's someone that you're, you're trying to protect. Oh, God. Oh, I know who it is. There's only one person it can be. I mean, it all just makes perfect sense, you know? I mean, he's been so involved with the Veterans Hospital, tied up in business. Of course, he'd been drawn to someone who would understand that, who would stroke his ego. I mean, it has to be. Olivia. Olivia? Well, yeah, I mean, she's done it before when I've been out of the picture. Well, I am not out of it. Well... Not by a long shot. Better tell Josh that. There's a reason why I didn't tell him, and you know it. Well, he doesn't know that, and neither does Olivia. Are you defending her? No, I'm, no, I'm not defending her. I'm just saying, we wouldn't be having this conversation if you had told Josh the truth. And there's nothing done that can't be undone as soon as you tell him, so... You're gonna tell him soon, right? Right. All right, you look tired. I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna let you rest. Unless you want me to stay. No. Go. All right. You let me know what McCabe says? It's gonna be good news because I give good marrow. Oh, would you go? Give good marrow. Get out of here. You are a nutcase. Oh! oh. <laughs> You're gonna give me a heart attack. <clears throat> Olivia, why am I not surprised? Tammy? Jonathan? Roxy? Where is everybody? <sighs> you know in your heart that something's right. You can't be swayed by what other people think or worry about who's going to get hurt. Look, I'll stop. Like I said, this is not my business. It's between you and my mom. Tammy. Your mom and I do have some feelings for each other. But we've not acted on them. Are you mad at me for bringing this up? No. No, not at all. I appreciate your honesty. I do. Josh, do one thing for me. Name it. Promise me that you will not hurt my mom. I don't intend to hurt anyone. No one ever intends to. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. So, you really want to hear about it? Okay. Well, the people in the fire were really scared. But it turned out okay, right? Our friend Buzz here was a big hero. I was not. He rescued a lady. He put aside thoughts of his own safety and he saved her and she really, really appreciated it. Is the lady okay? Yeah. To be honest, she's still a little shaky because she was so scared. But as 
Much as she was scared, she knew that Buzz would find a way to save her. In fact, she couldn't imagine anyone else saving her. I'm gonna pull the car around, okay? Coop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I lit into Olivia in front of Buzz, and now it's caused tension between the two of you. No, look, don't apologize, all right? What you did was a service to my dad. If that's the way Olivia is, if that's the kind of person she is, Dad needs to know about it. I just feel bad. Don't. Ava, honestly, the only thing right now that I'm caring and concerning myself with is you and making sure that you're all right. And, well, now that you got one leg out of commission for a while, that means I'm gonna have to pick up the slack and carry you. That's gonna be a hardship. <laughs> Thank you for taking such good care of me. So, only half the hotel burned down. That's, that's, that is good news. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, I gotta get going. Uh, I'm glad you're all right. Thanks, Jeffrey. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna get a doctor, okay, and let him know that you're up, okay? No, 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 wait. Wait, I need your diagnosis. I've, I've missed you. I've missed you. I've missed you, and I don't... I don't know what I'd do if I'd lost you. You don't have to think about that. If you didn't, so you can just put that out of your little head. Thank me. Well, why not? You gave me my freedom back. I have Mallet. Why wouldn't I thank you? Well, because you haven't heard what I want in return yet. Mm. Oh, anybody want some more ice cream? Or, you know? mm, no, I think we're good. Yeah? I can't thank you enough for what you did for me. Well, well anyone would have done the same thing. I no, I'm not just talking about saving me. That's... Amazing. I'm, I'm talking about defending me to Coop and Ava. You're not going to live that down. They're going to give you grief. Oh, I can take it. Yes. No, I want to talk. I... <laughs> I've tried being noble, you know. I tried to, you know, keep you at arm's length and, you know, spare Frank's feelings. And, uh... Gee, I didn't try being mad at you, but... None of it's working, is it? No, no, no. It's just... It's... Tammy, you home? Oh, yeah. You're home. Taking a shower in there, getting all squeaky clean. When I think of it, I could use a shower myself, and as an environmentally conscious person, I think, uh, I think we should save some water. Should have seen it coming. Should have known that you would want something in return, because you never do anything out of the goodness of your heart. So go ahead, name it. How low would you like me to sink this time? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I'll be in touch. <coughs> Baby, you're gonna be all right. And I'm really glad you're gonna be all right. <sighs> Screw that. Oh, you're gonna be all right. Yeah. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be fine. I just wanna be married to you. That's all. Okay. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey, gorgeous. Make room in there. <laughs> oh. There he is! I'm 
Big Brother Billy, I gotta change the locks on that door. Ah, uh -huh. well, you know, I just wanted to catch up with you. Kind of uh, lost touch. So, um, so what, what have you been up to? Anything new in your life? Reva, Reva, <laughs> what? Oh, where am I? <sighs> You're in your hotel room. Listen, uh, you fell asleep. You must have been really out of it. I was knocking. I finally uh, had housekeeping just let me in. I was having this awful dream. Olivia literally had her claws into Josh. She had a meat hook. Reva, Reva. She was chasing Reva, him up and down the hallways and taking swipes at him, trying to grab at him, and I was trying to stop her from doing it. And I mean, if you knew her, if you just knew what this woman was like. Reva, life, Reva, Reva listen to me. Stand. Reva. <sighs> I got your test results back. We can talk about your husband's love life later, right now. We need to talk about your future.